Today, the Motorhead crew try out a protective spray coating for nearly every automotive surface. And check out a jaw-dropping trailer that's part cargo trailer, part toy hauler, and part campsite. Coming up on Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Camping out here at Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com and I gotta tell you, this trailer from Jumping Jack Trailers doesn't need a long introduction. You look at their website and it says one trailer does it all. And Robbie, what can I do with a trailer from Jumping Jack? And haul your ATVs, side-by-sides, camping gear, have a comfortable camp when you're there or use it as a high wall utility trailer. So it's really a three-in-one, and of course, starting at the bare basics, you've got a utility trailer if you need to use it for that. How does it set up as a utility trailer? The whole tent package will slide out of your trailer. You'll take the sides and they'll walk in a vertical position, which gives you a huge high wall utility trailer to haul firewood, take anything to the dump, move brush, haul furniture, whatever you need. But anybody can be just a utility trailer, so let's talk about using a jumping jack trailer to, to haul some toys around. Sure, when it's all folded up, it gives you a top deck to load your ATVs, your side-by-sides, camping gear, motorcycles, whatever you want to put right on top of it. But unlike other trailers, you've got a lower deck as well, so, so what goes on Underneath there? that deck, your tent is all packaged up in a weather-tight package, ready to deploy once you get to where you're going to camp. And we'll get to the tent here in a minute. Let's talk about actually putting the toys on now. How much can I hold on top of the jumping jack trailer? We have a couple different sizes, depending on what size, anything from one ATV all the way up to four ATVs or any of the big side-by-sides or UTVs out there on the market. Which is a lot different from others because you can usually put them nose to tail. Correct. And you're pretty limited there. So. Yeah. And how, what makes it possible to load them from, from either the side or the back? Just the way the trailer's designed, if you're loading ATVs, obviously you'll load from the side. The UTVs and side-by-sides a little bit longer, just load right up from the rear of the trailer. And the ramps then, what happens with those once I'm done? Uh, the telescope, like a... Telescoping like a, ramp, yeah, so you'll like just collapse it down and slide it underneath your machines right on the top deck of the trailer. Store them right there, strap them down. Now, how durable is this trailer? How much weight is it going to hold? Very durable. Our, our tandem axle models will haul about 5,000 pounds up on top of them, so it doesn't matter what side-by-side -side or UTV you have, it, it will haul it. It's not just UTVs and ATVs. What, what kind of stuff do you see people hauling on, on the trailer from Jumping Jack? Kayaks, canoes, camping gear, motorcycles, cars, whatever you want to put up there. And it'll, it'll take the weight. How much does the trailer itself weigh? This is a 17-footer? This is our 17-foot model. It weighs 2,100 pounds. Super light. Super lightweight. Tote behind basically any vehicle out there. And strong at the same time. Correct. How do you ensure quality control at Jumping Jack? We do everything in-house from all of our welding, manufacturing, everything done right there in-house so we keep a close eye on everything. Very cool. And now let's talk about the tent here. Once you get where you're going, you take your, your toys off. And how does it work to take the tent out? Top to bottom takes about five minutes to set up the entire tent. Really simple to do, quick and easy. No parts, pieces, no poles or anything like that to assemble. It's all it's all right there ready to go. And what kind of accessories then can I get with the tent once, uh, once I get it set up? There's a whole list of accessories kind of depending on how you're going to use the trailer. Anything from sink setups to wider beds, propane carriers, awnings, storage hutches, a whole list of them. The tent, how weatherproof is this? How durable is it? It's an awesome tent. It's all made of 13 ounce marine canvas. It's all been treated with what's called a sun forger treatment. So you're gonna stay dry, retains heat very well, and it's very durable. It's some of the little details I've noticed, uh, you know, starting with the, the cargo trailer. You have the rail all the way around, so you can use the ramps on any side there. And the way the ramps telescope, that's a nice one too. And then you, you've thought of some stuff here, like with the kitchen here on the tent. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the details there that, that make that? Uh... All of our accessories are, are really cool. They either have a spot to store inside of the tent as you're traveling, or there's a spot for them to strap on the outside. So different things, the water rack will store on the side, cooler rack up on the front. Um, once you get to camp, they've got different spots where they can attach on the trailer to serve different functions. Um, everything's kind of multi-function on it. And you've even thought of a place, you know, for the tubs, standard tub you see in, in, a, in your typical store, and you can use it as drawers. Yeah. So you get yeah. of every detail. I know there's a lot of folks that might have a smaller vehicle, maybe a Jeep or something like that. How towable 
is one of the jumping jack trailers. It's one of those. Extremely towable. Our smallest model weighs just over 950 pounds. The largest one we're on here only weighs 2,100 pounds. So really any small vehicle, small SUVs, Jeeps, anything like that can tow them around. And when I say you've thought of everything, you guys have thought of everything, right down to the axles. How do those make it easier to tow behind your car? All of our trailers are built around a torsion axle, which gives you high ground clearance and independent suspension. So whether you're high speed on a highway or off-road, they do excellent. No matter what you're doing in the great outdoors, Jumping Jack Trailers is a must-stop. Go to JumpingJackTrailers.com. This is unbelievable. You're going to love it, too. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com. So don't go anywhere. Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com, is brought to you by RockAuto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. And by Campbell's Custom Care, your detail specialist. This is Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Now, Schaefer Oil has been around for 182 years. Aaron, that's the oldest company doing this in the United States, is that correct? That's correct. We've been around since 1839. We're the oldest lubricant manufacturer in the United States. Schaefer actually got it start in soap and candles, but one of the byproducts from that was making grease and oil for the wagon wheels and for the steam engines. Since then, as the soap and candle business sort of uh, died down and World War II happened, we started getting into lubricants full time. That's when Schaefer really became the company that we know today. Our focus today is quality lubricants, high performance lubricants for different industries, construction, manufacturing, agriculture, diesel performance, racing, anything that spins or turns and needs lubrication, we have it. There's several different ways to get our product. The first is going to the website, shaperoil.com, go into the buy now button and purchasing smaller quantities, case goods, five gallon buckets. There's also, you can get direct from the factory representative that can steer you to the right products, 55 gallon drums, totes, whatever you need. And finally, you can go to a local retailer. And if your local retailer does not carry Shaper products, have them give us a call. How does a company that old continue to evolve successfully with the times? Well, we've stayed true to our purpose. You know, we've committed to staying family owned and American made. We manufacture all of our products in house so we can control the quality of them. Well, let's talk about quality and let's talk about products with our good friend Rick. And Rick, what'd you bring for show and tell to the class today? As Aaron mentioned, we have a lot of products. They're all uh, high quality products, but a couple of them we wanted to share with you guys. The first one here is our Penetro 90. It's a high performance penetrating oil. A great thing about our penetrating oil is it is an oil-based penetrating lube, so it won't dry out. It will actually stay moist. It will penetrate rust, you know, any corrosion, safe to use on tap and die sets, electric motors. It just has a lot of general uses. It's a must have for any garage. Moving on down the line there, some oil as well, engine oil. It used to be, you know, everybody put 1030 in everything. Didn't matter what it was, it got 1030. Those times have changed, as we all know, clearances are tighter. So now everything is vehicle specific as far as viscosity rate you know, detergent packages and everything like that. At Schaefer's, we have a wide variety of oils for different applications, 530s for your automotive vehicles, 1540s for your diesel applications, 540s for your diesel applications, the full synthetics, and then as well as 2050s for, you know, your racing, your motorcycles, and things of that nature. Whenever you have moving parts, of course, Grease comes into play. Sure. And you guys cover that as well. At yes, we have a very good selection of grease available depending on the application. If it's farming, agriculture, racing, you know, one grease doesn't necessarily fit all. There is some that can do a lot, but there is certainly some greases that have better applications than others. This is really cool. This is the Citrol. Tell us what that does. So the Citrol is a degreaser we have. It's a great product. It's non-toxic, so you can spray it and use it on places, you know, your engine that it's going to remove any grease, oil, stains, things like that. The good part is, you know, it smells great. It smells like oranges. It's not like your typical degreaser hazardous material where, you know, you open it up and about knocks you over. It's, it's a fantastic product and it works great. And you're going to want to buy two because, ladies, if you're working in the garage, your husband's going to want some for in the house, too, for getting stains out of laundry and, and that kind of thing. So you knew about Schaefer Oil before you came to work at Schaefer a number of years ago. Yes. What did you know about the company? It was one of those products you've heard of but didn't understand a lot about it, didn't know why it was different. I do some mechanic work on the side. A local farmer actually had a tractor. A liner O-ring went out, so all of his coolant was going into his engine. So every morning, he would drain a little oil out, which was coolant oil mix, and then put water back in it just to get him through the spring. And you know, the, dis the discussion was that's gonna ruin your engine. He said, I don't care, I gotta get through, we'll replace it later. 
So that engine actually made it through the whole spring, uh, had Schaefer's oil in it, and the blow-by tube, you know, anything that was supposed to have oil in it looked like, you know, a milkshake essentially from the coolant oil mix, but it was still running and it still ran fine until the day we took it out. It was a real eye-opener that all oils aren't the same, you know, the additive packages and the protection you get you know, that does make a difference. And what is it like to represent a family-run company that has a quality product like that? It's a great company. You know, you never have to second guess if the quality's there or the people because it's a tight-knit company where it's not big corporate where you don't know anybody, you know. Uh, everybody has the, you know, the phone numbers to the people they need. They can get answers, they can hold people, and that means a lot, especially in today's world. Schaefer Oil's been making the highest quality lubricants for 182 years, and they've been doing it in the United States. You can find them at SchaeferOil.com, and there's a promotion code for our viewers. It's Motorhead10. You get 10% off at SchaeferOil.com. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com. Keep it locked here. Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com, coming to you from the Campbell's Custom Care Studio. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Now, if you're looking for an affordable and easy way to upgrade your vehicle or protect it, Bedliner material is fantastic, and there's a lot of Bedliners to choose from out there, but aftermarket armor is different. What sets it apart from other things I'll find on the market? So what sets this apart is application. You have a four hour pot life, which is twice as long as anybody else's. So uh, once you've mixed it and you get it in the pot on your sprayer, it's, it's going to be there for four hours. Yeah, correct. And the other thing is too, is the many different textures. You can get anything from mild to wild, heavy texture to light texture. Well, here's a great, uh, we'll, we'll look at the Jeep here in a second, but check this out. They brought this in as a demo here. Now, what are the different surfaces here on this, on this toy truck? What this shows you is a high metallic gold color with the gold tenable bed liner. Then you have a light surface here where you can go on wheel flares, something you want kind of like a light texture. It's like a, a metal flake look to it. Correct. Very cool, and, and all that with the same product. Absolutely. Which is very cool. So let's, let's talk about aftermarket armor here. How many different colors are we talking? Anybody that has a solvent born base coat line, you can add any other colors in there. As long as it's solvent born, it can go into the tenable bed liner and you can create whatever you want. So just like painting, you can use Absolutely. Uh, the other thing is too is some guys want to highlight maybe wheel flares or the insides of their wheels. You can do it with that, with the same red on a black, it's a great contrast. And let's talk about uh, the different kinds of finishes you can get here. Uh, you brought in, a, this is what the, the base fender would look like or the yep. stock fender would look like here. So what am I looking at here? So basically if you bought a wheel flare and you wanted to add it to your vehicle, it's going to come in this raw plastic. You would put a sealer or primer on it, base it, you could clear coat it. This emulates also if it was a factory clear coat, factory finish, and then you can tint our color. You can see due to the fact that it's texture, it looks very close to the base coat, if not exact. Obviously, it's not going to be a shiny clear because it's a texture coat, but you can get any of the colors that you want. So this blue is on a lot of the newer Chevy or Ford trucks. You can see it, it's right there. And it looks fantastic. Let's talk about the Jeep now. now from stem to stern here, of course we have the metal here in the bull bar on the mm -hmm. front. What's it like to apply aftermarket armor to, to, to metal, to steel? Very user friendly. We supply a shoots gun in there. We also have an adjustable shoots gun. So if you wanted the different textures, not as fine as that, that can come out of your regular spray gun, but you can get pretty fine as we will see on some of the Jeep parts. That way it kind of differentiates if you were to do a whole vehicle like we did here. And then the fender flares, we saw, saw how those work. And you're using the same line of products Absolutely. to get a different finish. So you're getting that nice matte finish there on the fender flares. Uh, and then moving back, uh, you, you of course did the mirrors the same as you did the fender flares. The wheels, uh, a different material altogether. So that's very user friendly too. A lot of it as it goes is in the prep work. So you want to scuff it, you want to apply a light adhesion promoter. They were aluminum and then you put the uh, bed liner right on top of it or the aftermarket armor. And this will blow you away. Look at the interior of this Jeep. You guys even did some of the dash yes. with the same line of product from aftermarket armor. And again, how is that applied? So that's very user friendly. Uh, it can come into out of a spray gun or we can sell it in aerosols. So it definitely can spruce up your vehicle. Uh, this vehicle was a little rough when it came in. Now we went stem to stern with it and made it look pretty much brand new. Is this something folks can do themselves at home? Absolutely, yes. And, and how are you making it easy for them? 
There's different applications. Obviously what we're using on this was air application, but you can roll it on and get the same uh, application or look. And you, in the interior, if you've got aerosols, you can put it in aerosols or it's sold in aerosols and you can buy it that way. Now what comes in the kit for the do-it-yourselfer? So the kit comes with four quarts of the bed liner, a quart of uh, activator, a cup, and the chutes gun. So you have everything there covered. Um, we do have a kit that has a roller. They're also working on kits that may come with a tint to get maybe a gray texture. Some plastics are gray textured. Um, we're looking into that. But right now, this is four quarts, uh, a quart of activator, a cup, chutes gun, everything to get your bed or a Jeep like this done. You address the durability, the UV protection. The third question people want to know, where is it made? Made in the USA. Everything made in the USA. 100%. Fantastic. Well, like I said, this is an affordable way to make your vehicle look great. It's a great way to protect it as well and to protect any surface. AftermarketArmor.com is the place to find it. You can also find it at dealers all across the country. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com. So keep it locked here. Oh, by the way, Motorhead of the Week coming up. Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Industrial workbenches with integrated tool storage. And brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. AP Laser, leading the way. And by Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. You have seen how the line of AG products does great things to the exterior of your vehicle, especially the waterless wash, Dave. I know that's kind of the go-to. Is there a go-to for the interior? Yeah, that's our AG Twisted Apple All-Purpose Cleaner. This stuff works really well, not only in houses, but in the cars. The plastic panels, the carpets, the leather seats, the headliners, it really works on all the car, front to back. You can get everything cleaned with just this one product. And how easy is it to use? It's just a simple spray on. If it is a little grimy, a little dirty, mix it a little heavy, give it a little bit of some elbow grease, It'll take care of it pretty easy. And this comes as a concentrate? It comes full concentrated. It's biodegradable as well. It's again, safe for the environment, but it works really well. And that's what we really concentrated on was all the materials and all the fabrics inside the car. And we tested that and it's been pretty good for us. We know it works in a minivan where you find extra dirt and grime and stuff. Is it gentle enough for, for my Ferrari, for my Lamborghini, my high-end car? Oh yeah, and we have tested it on those exotic cars and we had a Lamborghini in our shop for some time and it did a really good job on the suede, on the leathers, on the carpets, did pretty good stuff. If I buy a bottle like that, how long is that going to last me? Oh, this is going to last you quite a while. And that's why we do concentrate to more towards the detailers as well, the shops, because they can get an ROI on this pretty good. Uh, you can get your money back out of it. it. It lasts quite a while. 16 bottles just out of this one little bottle here of concentrate. You can break it down. Professionals are using it. You can use it at home. You can find everything in the AG Products line at shopagproducts.com. Ben Franklin once said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Welcome to this AMSOIL Tech Tip. It's all about the preventative maintenance. Here at Motorhead Garage, we are all about it. You see our maintenance schedule? Well, if you go all the way to the bottom down there, it talks about accessory belt drives or accessory belt drive systems. It's truly a system. It's driving every component on your car. We're talking about air condition. That's pretty rough in the Florida sun if that's not working, but even worse, catastrophic damage if your water pump's not working. And Len, man, when it comes to belt technology, cars have evolved. Used to have this old neoprene belt, and you bend it and look at right. it. See looking the cracks? For, looking for the cracks, yeah, to tell, if it's, uh, to tell if it's shot. Yeah, and that's what we did. We just bent it and looked like that. Now the new vehicles use new technology, and this is EPDM material, a little bit different than that neoprene. You really can't tell by looking at it, but which one do you think's the new belt? Well, I'm going to pick this one. Exactly, and that's actually the old belt. I picked the same one. So what's going on here is like a tire wears on the top, it starts to wear down. These ones are wearing in the grooves, and as it wears in the grooves, it starts to introduce heat into the components, and that's a problem. So there's also a new way to check them. You can get any one of these little dial gauges here that kind of check it. This one you put in and you feel it, it's poking up. This one, not so much, and this one, it's actually protruding in there. I like this one here because you can put it in there. You can see that on the camera. It's really not wiggling at all. This one, well, it's starting to get sloppy, and this one here, it's all the way down in the bottom of the grooves, and I can move it to the left or to the right, so that belt's worn out. A lot different technology. 
paints, well, came the same way. We're talking about clear coats, base coats, all kinds of things. Len, I'm afraid to even put anything on my paint today. I don't want swirls or damage. Right. What do you guys have for us? Well, just like those belts that we were talking about, paint has come around just as you said. And for that, we've got our waterless polish and wax called Miracle Wash. It's not too tough. It's designed to work with all of those different types of new and high-tech paints. Simply make sure it's clean, get yourself a lint-free rag, spray it on wherever it is that you want to polish up, and then wipe it clean. And just that easy, make sure your engine's in good shape and your paint as well. Pick up the Miracle Wash at amsoil.com and don't forget you some glass cleaner as well. Ding, you'll get that gorgeous shine. Bob Burton is our Motorhead of the Week and a U.S. Army veteran. Now Bob says he wanted to honor other vets, but he didn't have the money to give to charity. So 17 years ago, Burton decided to build out his 1980 Dodge D50 to honor the fallen. Now the engine is a 53 Hemi. Transmission is from a 79 Dodge van, side mirrors from an 86 Escort, seats from a bass boat. That's my favorite part. Rear end from an old F-150 and the wing, courtesy of a Peterbilt truck and an S-10 Blazer. You'll also find parts of a Chevette, a shop light, and a mailbox somewhere in there. This thing is a Frankenstein. You know, I love the pins on the dash too. Those were his dad's from 47 years of combined service in the Navy and as a policeman. Now, you don't have to have a collector or classic car to be our Motorhead of the Week. You just have to love cars. Send us a note at MotorheadGarage.tv. A special thanks to Bob Burton and all those who served our country. And we wanted to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com. We'll see you again next week.